Hello my little butterflies and this video is going to be my library haul. So it's been a while since I've been to the library and I went to the library for the first time in a while and not my normal library because I would drive like 30 minutes just to go to the library because where I live now um, there's a lot of libraries around but when we first moved out here and I visited this library they didn't have much it was a smaller library than what I'm used to they didn't have much to choose from it was they didn't have great selections so I was like yeah I'm just gonna go back to where I know and I finally you know just decided to try again in this area and when I tell you this library is huge it's huge like it has a second floor huge and my library isn't that big anyway but it was like a big it was a big library it has a, a great selection and now I found my new library home <laughs> that's like 10 minutes away if that if that okay so they had a lot of books to choose from I didn't get as many as I wanted to because I feel like I was taking too long I had my husband and my daughter with me and if they weren't with me then I would have stayed as long as I wanted probably got more books that I would have actually read in the time I checked them out so I haven't started reading any of them yet but I do know which one I want to read first I got four books from the library and the first book that I got is I One Out by Nick Stone I have my bookmark in it but I haven't started reading it yet but this is going to be the first book that I am going to read but I want to finish at least one more book that I'm already that I'm still reading from November before I actually start reading these so I One Out just came out this year and it's about these three friends that are going through the same thing I think it's the it's these three friends that are going through kind of like the same thing and I'm thinking we're gonna go through each perspective so it's probably gonna be coming from three different perspectives but it's the same story being told through each one of their experiences so um, it seems like it's a, it's a romance that's involved and it's including all three of them to where it's gonna I think it's gonna be like a big blow up I'm not sure but this is it has a lot of um, I think one character is bisexual one is is completely gay I'm sure I think but yeah that's that's the most I can give you about this book that's the most that I know but it's three friends in high school going through some drama that's going to be told from each one of their perspectives so I'm pretty sure it's going to be a misunderstanding somewhere in there too that's going to get cleared up so I'm excited to read this then the next book that I have also came out this year and it's Toil and Trouble 15 Tales of Women and Witchcraft by Jessica Spotwood and Tess Sharpay is who is edited by but it's by a bunch of different authors I'm pretty sure it's 15 different authors each one did a story I'm not going to go through each one who's in here but I'm excited to read this this book took book two by storm this year a lot of people read it around October it was on a lot of people's TBR especially for uh, Spookathon I think this was their group book maybe but I know a lot of people have been wanting to read this I wanted to read it as well and I think it was on Hoopla but I never ended up getting to it so I was like I seen it in the live so I'm like yeah I'm gonna get this because I hear it's pretty good so I'm excited to read it then the third book that I have and it's been on my TBR for a little while and that's The Education of Margot Sanchez by Lillian Rivera. And I want to say it's been on my TBR for like most of the year and I was just going to buy it. So until I see it in the library, I'm like, yeah, I'll just check it out then. So I'm really excited for this one. It's about this girl named Margot Sanchez and I think she starts to go through things in school. I think it's in verse. Okay, so Margot gets herself, I just read it, okay. So Margot gets herself into some trouble because she takes her dad's um, credit card to buy herself a new wardrobe. So then her family makes her work as work in their deli to pay off with their grocery store to pay off her debt and she feels like her social life is in trouble because uh people are seeing people are talking and she really wants to be part of this popular crowd she wants this invitation to this huge beach party that is coming up and she says she can she's very close to getting an invitation but this is going to mess with her reputation and she's trying to figure out she would do anything to get out of this punishment that she has and that is her goal is to get out of this punishment of working at her family's grocery store and then she meets this boy and he might keep her from worrying about going to this beach party and doing the things that she's been doing and keep her level headed and actually keep her working in a store so we'll see i'm excited to read this book as well it's very pretty i still think i want to buy it anyway because i love the covers that i like this i love this cover so freaking much so i'm excited to read it and most of the books that i got it's about all the books i got i noticed are kind of short so it shouldn't take me long to get through them hopefully i don't have to renew any of them and i can just read them before i have to bring them back but yeah we'll see then the next book that i have has been on my tbr since it came out and i just never got around to getting to it and that is 
Dumpling by Julie Murphy. And I think Pudding is the book that just, the next book that just came out. So kind of like a companion with Dumpling. But I have been trying to read Dumpling since um, it came out. Like it's been on my TBR since then. But I never went to go buy it. I will always see it too. And I'm looking like what books I'm going to buy. And I was like, oh, I'll just wait. And then I just like, well, it's in the library. And I, I, I can, in my face. So I might as well just pick it up. So basically, if you don't know, Dumpling is about a thick girl. Like, and I guess you could, I don't want to say overweight because I don't think she's overweight. But you know, it's not like she's a thicker. You know, she's thick. So it's about this girl that she, her mom was this beauty pageant queen and Dumplin has always been comfortable in her own skin. So she decides to do a beauty pageant to show them that big girls deserve to be on the stage just as much as the teeny ones that can fit in the itsy bitsy teeny bikinis. And it's about her going through this beauty pageant and I hope she still loves herself. I feel like at some point she's going to sway um, between her loving herself and not loving herself. I'm pretty sure at some point in this book she's going to be swaying in between those things. And I think she's going to end up settling it on. I'm still happy in my own skin. I'm still beautiful. So I can't wait to read this book. I've been wanting to read this book since it came out. And I'm finally getting a chance to read it. So hopefully I like it. Hopefully it's everything that it that it's said to be that it's hyped up to be. And I don't read it and be disappointed. So I have high expectations for this book. And I hope my expectations are met. So people, that is... Everything that I got from the library this time around. I feel like the next time I go to the library is going to be a bigger haul. Because I'm going to get more books. Oh, let me tell you guys about this experience. So this is the first time I've been to the library in a while, right? I don't think I've been... Oh, yes, I have. Yes, I have. Okay, so it's been a while, though, since I've been to the library. But usually when I go to the library, my older library, when I go in the teen section, nobody's pretty much in there. Or it might be one or two people in there. But, so I'm in the teen section... And I just feel like, you know, you just feel like somebody's looking at you. And like you turn around and of course they're looking at you. Like you feel the eyes burning into you. So I'm 22. I'm not old or whatever. But it's like these kids, <laughs> they're like in middle school. And they're looking at me like, what is she doing in this section? That's how they're looking at me like I'm too old. And then not to help the situation, I have my daughter who is mommy, mommy. And now they're really looking at me. And I'm just like... Okay, so I'm just trying to ignore them because I feel them looking at me like she might be too old to be here. And I feel like you can be 40 years old and be reading freaking YA. Like you don't have, just because you're older doesn't mean you have to read adult, which I do read adult novels too, but I mostly read YA. But I just felt so uncomfortable because I'm like, hi, how you doing? Like they still have their school uniform on and everything. This is the first time this has happened to me. And I'm like. And I know I look younger than what I am. I know I can pass for like 16 because people think I'm 16 all the time. They, when they ask me how old I am, they automatically think, oh, you're 16, 17. And I'm not. But just the fact that they were looking at me, like they, they were probably, they didn't even look like they was in high school. It was probably in middle school. But they're looking at me like, why, this is not the section for you. They're looking at me like, aren't you a bit too old to be reading these books? Like that's how they were looking at me and I'm just... Okay, like I'm trying to continue and I think that's what rushed me out of the library more because I feel the eyes Like I feel them staring at me like it's burning into me and I'm just like Okay, I was like, I'm gonna take what I got and I'm gonna go and I'll come back another day So has that ever happened to any any of you guys? Like, that's not gonna stop me from being in that section But it's just this, the first time that that has happened to me or at least the first time that I've noticed and I'm just like What are y'all looking at? Like, okay, like yes, I'm a grown woman, but that doesn't mean I can't be in this section. Like, what can I help you with something? Hi, how are you? How was school? <laughs> like, it's just I just want to know has that ever happened to anybody else besides me? Like going to the library. Um, but yeah, I'm still, I'm still gonna be in that section anyway. I just I guess I had to get used to the stairs because they really was looking at me like, what are you doing? And I think I picked up a book that somebody wanted. <laughs> I think I picked it up before she got to it because she was waiting on the other side like looking through books but you know she looking like where I am and I picked up the book and I'm like reading like do I want to get this book and then when I took it she looked at me like did she just take the book that I was going to get so I feel like I stepped on her toe but I don't care I was there first but I just feel like she wanted to jump on me for picking up the book that she wanted but whatever I, I took it and I left went about my business she'll be okay she'll live but um yeah thank you guys for watching my video and listening to my like kind of crazy story and um yeah i'll see you guys next time bye